Changes could be coming to PG&E, which announced today it is conducting a review of its finances and corporate structure. And while PG&E did not elaborate in that announcement, there are news reports tonight that the utility giant is considering breaking up the company or perhaps bankruptcy. Reporter Andrea Borba takes a look. Two bombshell reports about the potential future of Pacific Gas and Electric. The first from NPR, saying PG&E is considering selling off its natural gas division. That is news to State Senator Jerry Hill. They were doing that at the exact same time that they were trying to fool the legislature so that the legislature would look at either two choices. The narrative was either bankruptcy or bailout. The legislature gave them a bailout and, uh, and at the same time they didn't come forward, weren't honest, they weren't uh, showing the best integrity by letting us know that they were looking at an alternative, a possible way of paying for the liability. The other report from Reuters that the utility giant is preparing for a bankruptcy filing due to mounting liability from the deadly campfire that destroyed much of the town of Paradise. If PG&E declares bankruptcy, it is PG&E essentially saying that they care more about saving the behinds of the executives than they do about compensating all the people they've victimized. So it sends a message that PG&E is not willing to do the right thing and compensate all of these people it's harmed. Since the campfire began, PG&E's stock value has taken a nearly 60 percent nosedive, dropping to $19 a share tonight in after hours trading. State Senator Hill thinks breaking up the utility is the correct move. By uh, spinning off their gas and electric systems, I think they will become a size that they can manage. I think what we've seen over the last few years is they've been too big to succeed. Millbrae attorney Amanda Riddle represents more than 700 campfire victims who lost homes to flames that PG&E equipment is under investigation for sparking. She says bankruptcy only harms those folks even more, likely leaving many without enough money to rebuild. The victims would be compensated nowhere near what they should be entitled to in the court of law. Today in a statement, Pacific Gas and Electric spoke about refreshing their board and looking at structural options. State Senator Hill is wary of any decision the utility makes. PG&E will do whatever is in their best interest regardless of anything else. That was Andrea Borba reporting. Now investigators have not determined the cause of the campfire, but PG&E itself has reported major damage to a high voltage line at the spot the fire started near Polga.